All right, so this is just a quick update on an earthquake that caught my attention today. I'm actually uh, getting ready to take a red-eye flight back to the mainland from Hawaii, but I've got some time and thought I would just look at this earthquake and thought I'd throw together a little video as well. Apologize if you can hear some of the announcements over the intercom in the background. Um, and I know several of you want me to weigh in on the Santorini Earthquakes have been going on. I will look at that when I get home in a day or so and see if I can come up with some something to share with you. But for now, there was a earthquake in the Caribbean today, a 7.6 quake located here in the Cayman Islands region. And so we'll kind of zoom in here and take a look at where this quake occurred. You can see it's here between Jamaica uh, and Honduras in Central America. And let's go ahead and look at some of the data for that. So a shallow quake, 10 kilometers depth, large magnitude, 7.6. So whenever we have quakes of this size and with these shallow depths, especially when they are in uh, marine locations on the seafloor such as this, obviously a secondary hazard to consider is um, that we might have a tsunami or something. And so we, there was a tsunami alert um, for regions in the Caribbean, Jamaica, Honduras, maybe some other regions as well, but there was no actual tsunami that was generated, at least any sort of significant tsunami as far as I could see. And the reason for that is right here, looking at our very uh, much loved beach balls or fault plane solutions or focal mechanism solutions. So you can see based on this pattern here, classic strike slip fault on either a sort of north-south striking right lateral strike slip fault or a nearly east-west left lateral strike slip fault. Now, just looking at this in and of itself, you can't tell which fault produced the earthquake, but you can usually make a pretty educated and nearly um, concrete interpretation by looking at the plate boundaries and so you might be able to pick out on here there is a plate boundary that goes in a almost east-west direction through this part of the Caribbean um, that divides the Caribbean plate here to the south from the North American plate here to the north. I'm going to show you a more detailed map that shows there's a actually a small little micro plate in here as well. This is some of the deepest parts of the Caribbean, an area known as the Cayman Trough. But let's stick with the earthquake for a second, and then we'll look at the tectonics in a little bit of detail. Um, again, as far as I could tell, the, not a very felt earthquake, despite its shallow depth. Um, fortuitously, it was again in this deep part of the Caribbean basin and you know some distance from any uh, communities or towns looks like it was felt the most not a lot of responses on the USGS side about 340 responses and maybe felt most uh, here uh, just to the west of Jamaica and looks like our maximum Mercalli intensity was about a, a seven so moderate uh, maybe maybe up to moderate damage and pretty strong shaking. But again, I haven't really seen anything yet with just limited information uh, to suggest this was a, a damaging earthquake in any way, shape, or form. So here's a better look at where the earthquake occurred. The earthquake occurred, you can see the, the left, this left lateral strike slip fault um, along this plate boundary matches really nicely with the, with the, let's go back one here, with the focal mechanism solution or the beach ball. Sorry, trying to do this sitting on the floor in the airport. You can see the orientation here uh, matches really nicely with this orientation here. So that's undoubtedly 99.9% um, .9 certainty there that that's the fault that ruptured Walton Fault Zone. I've also read some papers that suggest it's the, something called the Swan Islands Fault. So it might be that as well, but basically somewhere along here between Jamaica and Central America. Um, <coughs> looking at uh, a paper here that I can put in the video description, here's against a Swan Island fault zone, but they actually had an earthquake here in 2018, uh, magnitude 7.6. So interestingly, we had a similar magnitude in more or less 
or similar location. This might be a little bit closer to Honduras, but along the same fault system, it would appear in 2018. So this is an area where earthquakes of this size are are not uncommon, and they do occur from time to time. And the other thing I have for you here is just uh, some historic seismicity. And with the beach balls there, you can see that here's Jamaica, uh, here's Haiti, and you can see the mainly the strike slip faults with the beach balls here along these zones. So um, transform plate boundaries mainly here from Cuba down through Jamaica in this part of the Caribbean. And so this is the most common type of uh, earthquake generating fault systems that we have in this area. Um, so just a short video, limited on resources, sitting on the floor in the airport, uh, waiting for a late night flight. And so I thought I'd, again, just throw together uh, some information on this earthquake uh, near the Cayman Islands in the Caribbean. So hopefully that was helpful to you. And uh, another good earthquake in the sense that uh, not destructive, uh, large, so interesting scientifically, but thankfully appears there was uh, little to no damage um, to people and structures. So thanks again for your support, and we'll catch you next time. Take care.